Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you my three favourite ways of removing spots and blemishes in your portrait photos using Photoshop. And I'm going to start right now. Right guys, so the first thing I want to do is just go ahead and choose a photo. And today I'm going to be working on this raw photo, which as you can see, I haven't done any adjustments so far. All I've done is just the basic corrections that you can find in the camera raw filter. So I haven't removed any spots or any blemishes whatsoever. So you can see this is the after photo, but if I just show you the pure raw photo, as you can see, I have literally just changed the basic sliders that you can find on the right hand side. Just added a little bit of contrast and just brightened the photo just ever so slightly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open it up into Photoshop by going down into the bottom right hand corner where you can see it says open. Now what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be showing you three separate tools. I'm going to be showing you the quickest way, the easiest way, and then I'm going to be showing you the most complex but best results way. So firstly, I'm going to show you how to use the spot healing brush tool. So what we're going to do first is I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate the background layer. So I'm going to go ahead and press Command J. This is so I can show you a before and after. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and zoom in to 100%. Now, as you can see, this skin, to be honest, is fairly blemish free, but there are a few things that I would fix in this particular case. So as you can see, there are small black splodges all over the model's face, and that is just the mascara that is leaked out. Usually you wouldn't notice this, but because we're shooting on a macro lens, pretty much every Every single little thing is visible. So that's why the skin looks like it's got blemishes all over the place. So what I'm going to be doing using first is the spot healing brush tool. Now the spot healing brush tool is great if you're planning on doing just very quick adjustments. You're not planning on fixing the entire face, you're just wanting to fix a few spots here and a few spots there. It's not something that you can completely repair the entire face with. So how to access the spot healing brush tool. So on the left hand side here, you will find this icon and this is called the patch tool. But if you click and hold, you'll bring up a sub menu here. And this is where you'll find the spot healing brush tool, the healing brush tool, the patch tool, the content aware move tool and the red eye tool. It might be named any one of these. This is kind of like a sub selection of uh, very similar tools. So the tool we're going to be using first is the spot healing brush tool. So we'll go ahead and select that like so. Now, how the spot healing brush tool works is very similar to the brush tool, but instead of painting onto the object or painting onto that particular layer, what you're doing is you're painting and letting Photoshop create a content aware area where it will then supplement the pixels around it to replace the area that you've selected. So what do I mean in practice? So let's go ahead and zoom into an area. Now, as you can see, we've got this very large, almost little mascara splodge here. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna click, drag and hold, and you'll create this larger gray area appearing. What Photoshop will do is it will take the contents around it and replace that area with that content. So if we go ahead and click and remove, as you can see, that has now been completely removed. And that is the premise of how the spot healing brush tool works. What it does is it just very quickly duplicates areas and replaces it within the selection that you've made. Very similar if you've ever used content aware fill, but instead you're just using it to brush the areas instead of filling them with a selection. So let's try in another area. So if we go ahead and just go to another area over here, now we've got these two spots. So what you can do is click, drag and hold over that area. And then you can also drag over the other area as well. And what it'll do is Photoshop will try its best and removing the areas. Now, the problem with this is it doesn't always copy the texture correctly. So as you can see, it probably you wouldn't notice it, but in my opinion, I wouldn't have done it in that particular case because you've got slight difference of wrinkles here from the lower part of the cheeks. And as you can see, it's creating this very odd kind of textured pattern that's appearing. So this is where the spot healing brush tool doesn't work very well. And this is where I'd probably either use the patch tool or for instance, the clone tool. But for most instances, I personally would use the spot healing brush tool because of how quick and efficient it is. But in most cases, uh, it actually works completely fine. So let's say we go ahead and choose the area down here, click, drag and hold over that area. As you can see, that pretty much worked really, really nicely. And again, we can do the same with the little mascara spot there. Uh, we can do it with a few little hairs and veins that you can see in the skin. 
Again, doing very small little tweaks. Again, we're not creating very, very large selections with the spot healing brush tool. If you were to do that, I definitely recommend using another tool for it. And then as you can see, we just do a little areas over here. So as you can see, very, very quickly, you can sample an area and replace it very, very quickly. So if I do the before and after, you can see we've removed all of those very fine little spots using the spot healing brush tool. But what happens if you want to do a larger area? Well, this is where I wouldn't necessarily use a spot healing brush tool and I would use the patch tool instead. Now the premise of the patch tool is basically the same, but instead you're actually dragging to the sample area you've chosen. So how can we get to the patch tool? Well, we can go back to the spot healing brush tool so we can click and hold. And instead of choosing that, we can go three down and you can see there is the patch tool. So we'll go ahead and select that like so. So how does it work? Well, let's go ahead and zoom into the nose stud that you can see here. Let's say we want to remove it. And that's quite a large area. That isn't gonna work with the spot healing brush tool. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click, drag, and we're gonna circle or create a selection of that area. So we're gonna go ahead and drag it and all the way around until you are happy and then once you click away, it creates a selection. Now within that selection, it's called the patch tool, but it's actually the patch and drag tool. So what you do is once you've made that selection, you're going to drag outwards and you're going to drag to an area that you'd like Photoshop to sample. So I'm gonna go and sample up the higher part of the nose. And as you can see, that selection on the inside has changed to the selection of the new selection that you have made. And I'm gonna go ahead and click away. And once you've clicked away, Photoshop have sampled that area and basically duplicated or cloned it onto the area that you've originally selected. And all you need to do is press Command D to deselect it. And as you can see, that was actually really, really quick. And as you can see, it's completely removed it. So this works for better for larger areas. Now you can use it on smaller areas. So for instance, we've got these two spots here or these two little blemishes. Let's go ahead and circle that. And then we can drag outwards and then release. And as you can see, if we press Command D to deselect, you can see that is done really nicely. And it especially works well on skin because skin has a certain texture to it and it will change depending on where you are on the skin. And the problem with Spot Healing Brush Tool is it will just duplicate the surrounding area and won't necessarily take the texture into consideration. But what's great about the Patch Tool is you're copying larger chunks and then blending it in seamlessly. So you can see if I go ahead and do that area again, so let's go ahead and take that area. Again, you can create any shape you like. It doesn't have to be a circle. In this particular case, it's a bit of a blob. And we can go ahead and drag upwards, and then we'll click and release. And then if I press Command D to remember deselect, we have now copied the texture above and replicated it below. So as you can see, it's a little bit better when it comes to trying to replace skin. But what happens if that doesn't work? What happens if you want to completely fix an area? Well, this is where the clone tool comes into play. And this is an incredibly powerful tool. I'm not gonna be able to talk about it all in this particular tutorial. I'm actually gonna make a separate tutorial just on the clone stamp tool because it is an incredibly powerful tool in Photoshop that I really think gets underutilized a lot. So let's work out how to use it. So let's go ahead and zoom out. Right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna open up a new photo. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up this brand new photo, which this particular photo you can find on unsplash.com. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and zoom into the model's face and you can see we've got a few more imperfections. Now this is where the clone tool works unbelievably well. So how firstly can we get the clone tool? Well, before we do that, let's go ahead and just duplicate that layer so I can show you the before and after. So I'm gonna go ahead and press Command J on our keyboard. And as you can see in the right hand side, which that duplicator has been made. So what we can do is over on the left hand side, you can find this tool here, and this is called the clone stamp tool. So we're gonna go ahead and select that like so. Now how the clone stamp tool works is very similar to the brush tool and very similar to a bunch of other tools. But instead what it does is you can sample the area that you want to copy and then replace it again with the area of your choice. So what I'm going to do first is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to go and sample the forehead here. Now you can sample it by pressing Alt or Option on your keyboard, sample that area, and once you've done that, doesn't matter where you move in the photo, that area will be sampled. And then you can make the brush smaller or larger, completely up to you, and you can go ahead and go over that area that you want to be copied over. And what we can do is you can see we want to remove that mold here. We can go ahead and click 
and then you can drag outwards and as you can see, a small kind of crosshair appears and that is the area that you've copied. So as you can see, I've gone over and I've duplicated the sample area here and cloned it over the mole area. So if I do the before and after, you can see I've completely removed it by copying the texture of the skin and then duplicating it or cloning it over the area of question. So I can do it again. So let's try it down. Uh, we've got one uh, down here. For instance, this has got a lot of texture to it. So what we can do is I'm going to sample the area just below around about six o'clock on the clock. I'm going to go ahead and press Alt or Option on your keyboard to sample that area. And I'm going to go ahead and drag that upwards. And what I can do is click and drag around. And as you can see, I've now copied that entire area and cloned it over the place in question. Now, obviously, it's a little bit more of a skill doing this because you need to know where to copy and where to paste on the photo for it to work. Like for instance, if I go ahead and copy this area and paste it over the eye, you can see I've completely ruined the photo. So there's a little bit of precision involved, especially if you're copying or fixing very, very large areas. And again, it really does depend in what situation you are working in. In most situations, I would probably say that the clone stamp tool is a bit overkill. And this is where I'd use the spot healing brush tool or even the patch tool. But if you're doing a bit more complex work and you really want to copy certain textures of the skin to other areas of the skin, then I'd definitely recommend using the uh, clone stamp tool because it is a lot easier to use especially when you're wanting to really get down to the complex parts of that area so again I can show you just one more time let's say we want to remove some of the kind of uh, freckles we've got here so I'm going to go ahead and sample an area with no freckles remember clicking on that area and pressing alt or option on your keyboard and then you've got that area always copied and then all you'll need to do is paste by simply clicking and again, you can paste a larger area by clicking and dragging with your uh, mouse there. And then we can do is release. And it, it, all you need to do is go back to your sample here and I can show you the before and after. So if I do the before, and then if I do the after, you can see I've easily removed those areas with the clone tool. Brilliant, and there we go guys. If this video helped you out, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to learn more about Photoshop, Lightroom and everything photography related, Start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you guys don't miss anything. Now, if you want to watch my latest Photoshop video, I've got a playlist just up here. Or if you're in a bit of a rush, I've got my two minute tutorials just down here. But until next time, guys, keep creating.